This is the first tutorial on how to set up CentOS VPS server if you want to host a website on it. Now the first thing you would need is obviously a VPS server and the second thing you need is the root login password which is provided by the hosting company from where you purchase the VPS. If you have these two things and if you are on Windows operating system, then you need to download this tool in order to log in into the server. You can download any one of these two, 32-bit or 64-bit. Uh, but if you are on uh, Linux desktop or if you are using uh, Mac operating system, then, then you don't need to download this. Uh, you just need to open up the terminal which looks like this and then use this command ssh root add and then your server's IP address. I am on Microsoft Windows operating system right now so I am going to use this tool to log in into my CentOS VPS server whose IP address I am going to enter here. This is the IP address of my server. Make sure that this SSH is selected. Click on open and this opens up the terminal window. Login as root. Enter your password and this is it. Now I am logged in into my CentOS VPS server. Now the first thing you should do is create a new user account because for security reasons it is not a good practice to use root account and later in the series you will learn how to disable the root login. So here is how you can create a new user account. Uh, use this command add user followed by the username you want to create which is entirely up to you. Hit enter and a new user has been created. Now give this user a password using this command followed by the username you just created now enter the password you want to assign so a new user has been created and a password has been assigned to it now we need to give this user root privileges otherwise with this user account you won't be able to perform root level jobs such as installing software or modifying configuration files uh, and to do this you need to add this user into the wheel group which can be done using this command g password p a s s w d minus a and then the uh, the name of the user and then the name of the group which is view and this user has been added into the wheel group to cross check you you can use this command groups followed by the username and it is showing that this user is in the wheel group. Now we can log in into the server using our new account. So this is it. Now I am logged in into the server using a non-root user account. And you can also log in using this command ssh username add and then the IP address of the server. In the rest of the tutorials I am going to use this non root user account and in the next video I will be installing Apache web server.